Hi, everyone. Bienvenidos. I'm Desiree Berenger Carton with Your American Cancer Society. We are so excited to welcome Dr. Tanya Webb, who is the head of the Institutional Research Grants Program at the University of Maryland. And we are also joined by Sasha Singh and Demi Morris, who have been two of the first interns to take part in the American Cancer Society Diversity Research Internship Program. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're excited to have you here. Dr. Webb, let's start with you. The University of Maryland was one of the first to take part in the diversity internship research program and receive funding from the American Cancer Society. Talk to us how diversity in science is critical and in bringing interns like Sasha and Demi to work in cancer research labs like yours drives innovation and helps improve inclusion in the field. So as you mentioned, diversity is critically important and there's a great need to create opportunities for talented scholars in order to have the next generation of cancer researchers that can develop cures, innovative treatment strategies and create novel diagnostics. And so this program helps to address this urgent need. We feel that the talent is here. Clearly you see the outstanding work that Sasha and Demi have been able to do in such a short time. The mentors are available and we only need the funding. So it has been really wonderful to work with the ACS and I am grateful to the ACS for providing this opportunity to these talented researchers. Well, like you said, the talent is here and we wanna hear from Sasha and Demi. Um, ladies, talk to us, uh, what did this opportunity mean to you? We're gonna start with Sasha. Hi, thank you everyone. Um, this opportunity meant a lot to me because I got to dive into so many different perspectives um, in translational cancer research. I got to participate in wet lab research, as well as an opportunity to shadow in the clinic and meet new people. Um, I'm so grateful for my mentor, Dr. Sylvia uh, Montaner, and for all the wonderful people in the lab that have guided me in this whole journey. That's great. Uh, Demi, what about you? What did this mean to you? I would have to agree 100% with what Sasha said. So this opportunity as an ACS Diversity Cancer Research intern really gave me invaluable research experience. And my time as a member of the program allowed me to learn about different lab protocols like Western survivability assays, as well as allowing me to attend meetings with cancer survivors, discuss health disparities, and attend lectures on translational research. And overall, I really enjoyed my time as a DICR intern, and I'm forever grateful for Dr. Webb, my mentor, Dr. Paul Shapiro, and all the other DICR interns for making this such an amazing summer. That's fantastic. Demi, since we have you on real quick, and, we, and I want to hear from Sasha too, but can you get into a little bit of the specifics of the research so we can learn more about that? Yeah, of course. So my research involved the analysis of signal transduction pathways in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And specifically, I wanted to determine if there's any type of vulnerability in the ERK1 and 2 pathway or the P38 pathway that can be used to create some therapeutic treatments for this type of cancer. And to do this, I performed Western blocks that allowed me to uh, identify proteins, as well as doing cell viability assays that allowed me to see how the cancer cells responded in the presence of drugs. That's incredible. Sasha, tell us a little bit about the research. Thank you. Um, the aim of my project was to understand the role of antipodin like 4, which is a glycoprotein, in head and neck squamous cell carcinoma metastasis. So, as I said before, antipodin like 4 is a glycoprotein that is known for becoming overexpressed in many different types of cancers. And my job was basically to see the stimulus that will upregulate uh, antipodin like 4 for so that we can further develop therapies that target this specific signaling pathway to reduce tumor metastasis. That's amazing. Um, we love seeing the best and brightest minds come together for cancer research. Um, diversity in cancer research is essential to achieving health equity. So thank you, Dr. Webb, Sasha, and Demi for bringing us your different perspectives and for all that you do in cancer research. To find out more, head to cancer.org research.